Ethiopian security forces will no longer be welcome in Somalia when 2024 ends. National Security Advisor Hussein Sheikh Ali asserted this on a Twitter space broadcast Friday. As long as Ethiopia persists in violating our sovereignty, territorial integrity, and political independence, we are not and will not consider it an ally in advancing peace and security in the region. Army will stand alongside Ethiopian forces have played a key role in the African Union peacekeeping delegation that has operated in Somalia for over a decade. Last year, President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud met with other East African leaders and received assurances that security assets would be dedicated by them after the AU mission ends. But it appears Ethiopia will no longer be a part of that equation. The current force is called ATMIS, and 5,000 of its troops are to leave at the end of this year. 2,000 Atlas soldiers were withdrawn. According to Ali, all the Ethiopian soldiers would be gone before 2025 begins. As the group celebrates its 60th. Kenyan President William Ruto has publicly declared that he doesn't think Somalia can defend itself once the Atmos withdrawal is completed. Of the Republic he said the country would be taken world. over by terrorists. Your Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed. Ugandan President Yauri Museveni has voiced similar reservations. In recent days, the Somali government has indicated it would be open to further deployment of some AU forces. Ali also confirmed that new troops from Djibouti, Kenya, Uganda, and Burundi will arrive in Somalia after the Atmos soldiers leave. It consists of troops from various East African nations. The rhetoric is certainly meant to put pressure on Ethiopia to cancel its deal with Somaliland. The agreement would cede 20 kilometers to Addis Ababa for naval base on the Somali coastline. and it would provide diplomatic recognition to Hargeisa. Mogadishu is not indicating whether Ethiopia could have further security cooperation if its arrangement with Somaliland were to change or be canceled. There is still much concern on both sides of the border with limiting the capacity of al-Shabaab terrorists. ADN TV will continue to report on diplomatic and security developments in the Horn of Africa.